everyone. I thought that I'd explain today why there appears to be so many unfinished things around my home. There's always a good reason. We're actually renovating everywhere in the house and sometimes I have to be patient which doesn't come easy. So even in this one area there are so many things that I want to point out. So let me go through them and explain what's going on. So to start with we need to take out all the lime render so that we can redo it. It's, it's um, it needs work and it's going to benefit the house and make it look a lot nicer as well. So this is quite a task, you need to take it all out and refill it, take out any broken bricks and really damaged bricks and, and replace those as well. And we've got the whole of the front of the house to do and that's quite some task. We have started, in fact I'm showing you this bit and this is actually a bit that we've done, but you can see up here that um, this is what we're really trying to, to repair. So that's one bit. And then that leads on to why this is just hanging off. Until we do this and put in new lime mortar, this keeps falling out. Uh, so although we've got the new wiring and we have tried put it, putting it in, it just keeps really falling out. So this needs to be done first and then we can have this. Now this is a long term light. We've actually got this lovely old vintage swan neck light. But you'll see that there's a problem here. It's the wrong bracket. So I'm constantly looking out. This is to go on a corner. And I'm constantly looking out for a flat bracket so that we can get this up. But I think you'll agree that's going to look so nice when it's done. And it will also stop me banging my head all the time. So the front door, we believe the front door is original and it's absolutely beautiful and I will do anything to try to keep it and not replace it with a, a newer model. But it is really, really drafty so we need to pay some attention to this. And uh, we've, we've already put some draft excluder strips around the outside but when you're inside you can actually see daylight through. So we need to see if we can actually expand the door, put, add some bits onto the door and make it seamless so that you can't see that it's been repaired. If we can do that and make it less drafty, definitely, definitely, definitely keep it. Now you see down here that it needs um, repainting. And to be honest, we're not too keen to do that until we've actually put a fence up over there and a gate which will keep our dog out of um, this area because she keeps scratching the door no matter how much we train her not to she does this is her main way into the house at the moment but when we've got the doors and windows for the kitchen extension out the back there'll be no need for her to come into this area so we can paint this door and then she won't need to scratch it all the time. Now moving down to the path, this is a design that um, I came up with the other year and to date we've used all the reclaimed materials that we've had on site but we've run out. So now we can't do the last bit until we actually find more bricks and um, we've got plenty of flint but more bricks. So that's just another frustration. We keep looking out on Facebook Marketplace. We will find them, but these things just take time. Sometimes we find them and they're too much money. Sometimes they're in small quantities. But really we want to wait so we can just go along with our trailer and pick up some, um, and, and then we can finish that off. And then that will be it. So let me think, how many jobs is that? Take out the lime mortar, refill it, put up a new light, find a bracket, find more bricks, lay the bricks, put up a gate, put up a fence. It's never ending and this is just in one small area. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. I know um, I have had comments before, mainly on TikTok, but just like get on with it, just finish it, um, stop talking to the camera, stop swanning around and just finish it off. But with everything in a renovation, there's always more than what you think you see. Anyway, 
I hope you enjoyed that. Please do remember to subscribe. I'm really enjoying doing these videos and I'd like to keep doing them and I do need your support. So um, thank you for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.